Hello, gorgeous starseeds. It's Alexander Quinn here, starseed navigating the light. What you're about to see is a regression that I did with Mary Rodwell. She's one of Australia's leading ET and experiencer researchers. She's also been good friends with Dolores Cannon and she's been a hypnotherapist for many, many years, up to about 30. I've edited some of the gaps out of the um, interview, the regression, so that it's a bit more fluid and easy to watch. And I will leave it with you to, to enjoy. So I want you to move to the right and there'll be many, many doors in front of you. One of them will enable you to understand more of your star heritage and interactions with these beings. So I want you to now notice all the doorways and one of them will be highlighted to you. And whichever one it is, I want you to tell me when you see it. Uh, I think one of them has got a golden doorknob not far from me. Uh... A few doors down on the right. Good. Now remember, honour everything that you get as we go through this. I want you to go through the door. And the first thing that I want you to do is look down at your feet and tell me what you see, whether or not your feet have footwear on, what colours the skin, and whether you feel you're inside something or outside something. Um... I think I got like space boots on, but the whole ground has disappeared and uh, I'm looking at space, but yeah, I'm in space and uh, I'm not on a planet, but I'm out in the stars somewhere. Okay, so you feel that you're enfolded by some kind of space uniform or uh, inside a, um, a, 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 a uh, some kind of protective gear? It's, um, I'm not even sure about even protective gear, but I'm just out in, I'm out in the universe, but I'm also partly in a dream that I've had as well when I was seeing spacecraft and I feel like I've opened the door to this dream that I've had before where I was at my parents house and I was standing at the edge of the garden and I could see all these ships and it was like they were letting me see all the ships. So that's what I'm seeing right now is taking me back to taking me back to a dream I had. Okay. I want you to be aware of your form. Is your form, you know, is is it a form that you recognize or is it different in some way to the the biological form that you are? I think I'm still me, but you maybe slightly younger mm. okay okay and you're out in space do you get a sense of where you are in space have you got a sense of its location I don't know but I'm thinking about the Arcturians for some reason and I can see I can see and feel a ship like the Athena like a huge glowing ball of just the pure white light with all these gamma rays coming off it and I can also see in the distance it's gonna sound really crazy but like Stonehenge with all these purple energies gamma energies coming off it in the distance as well it's like okay. it's like I'm on the edge of my parents' garden looking out into space. It's like I'm between two worlds. So it, it seems like you're in the present time but also in another time? <clears throat> yes, yes, to some degree, yeah. To okay. Some degree. 
So as you're looking at this, what do you feel as your connection to the craft? Is there, is there any sense of familiarity to the craft at all? It's uh, the, the, the big ball of, of light feels like mm. some, some familiarity. But then the other ships are like uh, just showing me that they exist, but the different ships. I don't think they're Arcturian. Do you have a sense of the intelligences in those craft that are not Arcturian? I'm seeing the Nephilim. Okay. And uh, they have very long legs and they're very tall. And there's a, uh, there's a reptilian, <laughs> a reptilian that wants to eat my friend. And I'm saying you can't do that because, because the Arcturians are protecting me and he understands. So, so yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm reliving a dream I've had before. Oh. I'm seeing lots of different, lots of different species of, uh, it's like a graduation and I'm seeing them all. It's like, welcome, you can see us all. But it's like the Arcturians are facilitating it. It's like they are the interface, if that makes sense. Yeah. So is there any Arcturian there that you are drawn to that appears familiar to you? Any of them? I'm now going to another dream where they're humanoid and bluish, but their physicality is changing depending on how I perceive them and how they want to be perceived. And the ship is very, very light and uh, they have curved, smooth edges. Everything is very soft. And uh, there is a female who who uh, wants to change her the way she the way she looks. So she just imagines it, and then it happens. So they can change form depending on what they choose. Yes, and uh, they. Uh, uh, they were didn't want to scare me initially because because uh, they weren't sure what form to take initially. But I'm seeing this dream. I think it's connected to when I had a visitation. Maybe I'm not sure. But that's the feeling I'm having. Okay. Well, first of all, in that that as you're seeing this female form. Um, can you um, draw the female closer to you to have communication? Uh, she isn't ready. She doesn't want to do it. But the the male is saying uh, he can. She's busy doing something, but okay. But the male is uh, he's saying uh, we can chat. Okay. So ask their origin. Ask where they're from. They are me and I am them from a very far away place. And they are just teachers. And I'm hearing Nephilim again, but I don't know, it's confusing. And I know that the Nephilim are linked to the Anunnaki, but I, 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 can't, I can't grasp where they're from, but they... Their appearance is changing, but the male is blue. But that's, that's as much as I can I can I can get at the moment. I, w I want you to clarify that um, what you're hearing is you are them as well. Does this mean that one of your origins was as uh, the same as theirs? At at some point, you had that that um, life as one of them. No, they're just teachers. 
They're there, okay. they're there okay. just to teach me things. Okay, okay. So why um, were you being shown the Stonehenge um, and the it, those images? What was important for you to know about Stonehenge? Some energies there, and uh, there's a lot of gamma rays there, <clears throat> electromagnetic frequencies, and it's uh, it's alive. Oh, ship! There's a ship over it, and uh, there's another orb. A ship that looks like an orb over it, and it's uh, I'm going into it. And I'm now there, I think, and I'm seeing a wizard or Merlin or something, and there's a more more people appearing. They're human, but they're from a very long time ago. I think uh, people used to use that place for very magical purposes. Were you there at that time when it was being used? in the way that it was created for? I don't know, I think they're just showing me, but there's some connection to, there's some connection to the Arcturians and the Athena ship and the energies there, and there's some sort of wizard, like Gandalf or something, but it's not, or Mer maybe it could be Merlin or something, and. He's pointing at something, but I, I don't know what it is, but he's saying, he's saying like, look, look at this, or something like that. And there's some connection with these sorcerers of the past, and they knew about the ETs. There was connections been going on for a very long time. I think maybe Stonehenge is a portal or something, but there's a lot of gamma rays and purple energy there. A lot of purple electromagnetic frequencies and stuff. And yeah, he's just saying, look, look around, look at this. Just look at this. And uh, yeah. I want you to connect to any of the beings that you're seeing in Stonehenge, the ones that you're seeing there. Find one that you can communicate with. Pull, it, pull that intelligence to you so that one of them can answer your questions. Uh, I'm getting blue avian for some reason. That's weird. Uh, That's okay. It, it's um, okay. It's uh, like a furry humanoid animal with feathers, but it's got almost like a beak. And mm. he's saying, saying, oh, I'll have a go or something. Mm. Um, okay. Can you ask this this being why it's important for you to see this in Stonehenge what why is that um, important for you to know about because you need to know about your history and okay. let me hear what he's saying it's androgynous it's not female or male you need to know about your history because it's a part of you and uh, this energies here don't deny them Oh, he step, they've stepped back now. Okay. They've stepped back now. Okay. I think there's a reptilian that is, uh, wants to come forward, but he's, they're being a bit stubborn. And, uh, and uh, I'm back to the, the Merlin wizard thing now. And, okay. Uh, he's just saying, can Look. you connect? Can, can you connect to the Merlin figure? He's pointing at something out of the stones. Is it a mound or something? Um, he's telling me just to look, 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 look at that. Look over there. Okay. And uh, follow, follow, follow that. Follow, where does it take right, you? Right, well, I, I'm now at a mound, like a burial ground or something. Where is it? Uh, it's not so far away from Stonehenge. Dig it up, yeah, okay. Dig it up. These are my ancestors that are buried here. Oh, okay. Human. And they're applauding now because I've. They seem to be applauding. Oh, lots of clapping because I've.
connected or something or other. Connected mm. two and two together. And the blue avian is laughing at me and they're jumping up and down like children. Mm. And uh, the Merlin figure is like uh, looking down at me like a proud father. Something like that. Mm. Okay, what do you need to know about your ancestors? Um, I am them and they are me and I need to honor them and heal things in the past and Maybe I should go there one day and visit it and meditate there, something like that. Does that make sense to you? Mm, not yet. Okay, so there's something more. What is it that something is important? Um, mm. I need to remember. I need to remember. What do you need to remember? I need to remember my... I need to remember my ancestors more. I am not connecting with them enough. Something are like that. Are we talking? Okay, so are we talking about a human ancestor or an ancestor from another origin, star origin? Uh, the reptilian has just got bored of the whole thing and walked off and. He was watching, but now he's left, and they're human. Yeah, this is some. Um, yeah, the reptilian turned up to watch all this, but he has lost interest now. So he's. Uh, oh, I'm now back on the edge of the garden, back at my parents' place, yeah. looking at ships. Okay, and what age are you? Uh, I'm me. I'm me now. I'm now me again, and. Uh, I'm now looking, what age? Um, 30 or something. Okay. So it's it's a, re a fairly recent time. Yeah. Okay. Can, okay. So we're asking the part of you that knows now. So, has there been any... Is it, is someone, go on. Someone in the window of, of my parents' house. Okay, describe what you see. Uh, I think it's my mother waving to me who died recently. She's, there's, oh. a, there's a light, there's a light behind, there's a light, she's waving at me. There's a light behind her. She's in one of her favorite windows at the house and she's just saying hi. And I'm looking at, so she's, the, I'm looking at, go the, on. Looking at the clothesline in the garden for some reason, I don't know why, but she's just saying, hi, I'm here, and uh, she's observing all of this as well. So is she part of the light, or is the light something else? No, she's just standing in the window, and the light is on behind her, and she's just looking out, just checking that she, it, I am doing okay. That's all. Okay. okay, so she's keeping an eye on you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're asking the superconscious now if there's any time in this lifetime that you've been on board spacecraft. Tell me if there is anything that comes up as we ask that question. Well, my mind is going to this time when when I was staying at a friend's house and I woke up with the dots on my feet. Okay. But I don't know if the memory is being blocked or something. It was something to do with that and uh, the memory was taken away. Okay. Okay. Do you need to know more about those dots? Do you want to know more about them? 
Uh, I think, I think uh, they, someone was, was working on me for some reason, and uh, I'm lying on a bed, looking, okay. looking up at beings and they're just checking me over. What do the beings look like? Uh, a little bit like Zetas. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple okay. standing around and they're just, just checking to make sure shit is okay, basically. How many are around you? I know, like five or six, and they're just pointing and saying, have you checked this out, and have you... Just check that, and just check that, and... Okay. We'll, we'll give him it's... two dots on his feet, so he knows that, uh, that uh, we were here. Was, is there any one of them that is particularly familiar to you? Uh, any one per one of them that you are drawn to, as I ask that question? Um, if, if, if anything, the one at the end of the table, he, he uh, is, is sort of presiding over the whole thing. Maybe almost like a father figure or something. Okay. I'd like you to ask that being how many times you've been picked up or taken by them during your life. A couple. Just a couple. Yeah. Okay. And what has the, been the primary purpose of that, uh, those encounters? Uh, something else is coming in now. I'm starting to see an overlay over you, Mary. Okay. I'm starting to see like your ET form. It's different, but I can't make out what it is. I'm suddenly drawn so to another form of you. But I don't know why. So is that in the same space as these beings that are um, checking you over? I don't know, but while I'm talking to your human face is changing into another being, but I don't know why. Ask, ask the, 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 the Zeta what, to explain what you're seeing. Uh, Mary needs to know that she has another side of herself, an ET self, and we are superimposing it over her. So you can see an element of it, and uh, she has a some sort of holographic other side of herself or something. It's um, hard to get the exact uh, translation. So what is the form that you're seeing as an overlay? What form is it, or what does it look like? Uh, well, it's not human. Uh, it's gone now. It's gone. I was only seeing it while I was on the bed, but it's gone now. Um, yeah, no, no, it's so, gone. Okay, so we need to ask is why were you shown that 
when you were on the bed? It's it. What was the reason or purpose of showing you that? Apparently to let me know that you have other forms as well, whatever that means. Okay, so we'll take that to another step then. Does this mean that you have other forms apart from your physical form now? I'm seeing the, uh, a lion. Yeah, seeing a lion and, oh. uh, I'm seeing a snake, <laughs> some sort of a, some sort of dragon or something. Uh, some dragon. Sort of, sort of a, sort of a serpent dragon and a lion. Okay. And an insect, like a mantis. Okay. Different past lives. Dragon, serpent, mantis, and lion. Yeah. Uh, and the Arcturians are saying he doesn't need to know about that. Right? Okay. One of your questions from your conscious self was, is this, uh, have you had other Earth lives apart from this one? Uh, am I asking the Zeta or who am I asking? Yes, you can ask whatever form presents itself for the question. Oh, the lion is saying you've had me, and uh, just want me to focus on the ET ones for now. Yeah, well, we we would like to ask questions about one of the the human part of you wants to understand well, it's, whether it's, or not it's taking me back to that burial ground near Stonehenge. Okay. I, what was your role? Vikings. What was your role in Vikings or something? I don't know. They had uh, beards, long beards. People from who traveled from uh, in boats, boats, uh, big wooden boats, Scandinavians, mm. Scandinavians uh, buried there. So you, your Thor. form is as Thor, ancient, ancient gods, Thor and uh, Thor and Odin and Ark. I don't know what I don't I don't know what that is all about. OK, so let's ask, why are you being told about the gods? or having the information on the gods from Scandinavia. How is that relevant to you? Uh, it's something to do with... Uh, Ark is saying that I need to remember that I also had a... It was a, The old gods are, are basically upset that I was part of a nuclear explosion, a uh, decimation on Mars, and they remember me being there, and... It needs to be brought to the surface for healing because these old gods were there at the time, but it's like uh, Mars is a wasteland now, and I was there too. And they are the connection to the Earth, and there's some connection between these Scandinavians people and Mars. Okay, so you appear to be in the form of a Viking in the past, which is connected to Scandinavia. And Scandinavians, some of them are connected <laughs> to the old God and Mars. And you were on Mars. What form were you when you were on Mars? Like some sort of tall white being. And we were wiped out because something, something pretty freaking bad happened on Mars. Uh, there was a nuclear detonation. It's such a pity what happened there. It's very sad. You can, they were connected to Mars. Did it, does that mean that some of the tall whites relocated to planet Earth? Uh, I don't know. A lot of them were just wiped out. And there's a lot of sadness on Mars. A lot of sadness. And uh, civilization was wiped out. It's, uh, I don't want to, I don't uh, think I want to go. I think I want to leave that. Okay. I'll, yeah, I think I want to get back to, get out of there quick. Yeah, that was crazy. The Mars thing was uh, upsetting. Okay. Well, the mere fact that it's upsetting is showing the relevance, um, you know, the truth of it. Because if there's a, a, an emotional content to it, then <sighs> it definitely... And, and that was 
related to healing as well, Alex. You were saying it needed to be healed, and plainly it does. But remember your ancestors, something like that. It's uh, I don't know. It's, it seems very painful to talk about it, even even now with my eyes open. Well, now you can look at perhaps shifting. Maybe the reason it's highlighted now is for you to shift that, to release it. Because usually this is one of the reasons these come up is because it's time to shift it, time to heal it. Yeah. Like it was like so some, got... something that happened there. There was some sort of Armageddon there or something or something went off. Something went off that shouldn't have happened. Yeah. So many, so many uh, lost. The one thing that I will tell you that I was getting with that, because I've already told you that I'm usually with the person in that, was the fact that some escaped and came to Scandinavia. Right. Okay. Yeah. Odin, they were all ETs. They were all ETs. And as you were getting the sense of Stone Stonehenge being a portal. Yeah. And the Merlin wizard guy was like uh, a earth connection to say, you need to remember this stuff because you're a part of it. And uh, I'm the earth guy here helping you remember all the stuff. So, but I don't understand the reptilian was like, oh, I can't be bothered with all this stuff. I like, I came here to, I was hoping I, I was, I was going to get part of Alexander Quinn that I like, but he didn't show at this time or something. And I'm, I'm disappointed in him. And disappointed in him, the reptilian is saying, or was. Well, it's certainly brought up some other information that you got about your other origins from the, the lion felines. That was the, um, the other one. The dragon type being that you have been. And also the mantis. So you've yeah. got three, it's like three a, forms. It's like a snake with wings or something. Mm. Like a one of those Chinese dragons or something, but. Yeah, and I'm seeing the Nephilim. But what the other thing I was seeing was that it's like it's still all going on. Do you know what I mean? Now I've come out of it. It's like a door has been unlocked. It's like uh, yeah. it's like uh, this it, when I had this time when I woke up and I had imaginary friends, and and I thought uh, and my, and my my mentor Cynthia Crawford was saying that you need to have a regression. It's like this dream that I re-dreamt just now that I went back to, it was like, because I was thinking about it, it's like they showed me. Now, now I'm connecting the two. That's what it was. Well, this is what the awakening is all about. It's about connecting to who we really are and our origins and understanding more. I definitely feel a door has been unlocked and I'm going to get more stuff. It's good. Mm. It's good. I feel like my like as a level of me has gone up a notch. Like more things will come into my purview, purview now. It's like I feel like I, I before we did this, I was I was here. Now I feel like I'm a bit like more up here. Like something's been unlocked that will allow me to see things. Like I can feel it now already. I can feel it. Like like something's been opened up. So I, I'm going to be able to see more things now because because of because of I was able to see it just then. Like like a vision has been switched on. Like I can feel it right now. I was out of my body when I was talking about the, the Mars thing. And my body was saying, get back in your body now, quick, get back in your body. Get, come, mm. come, come back in your body. Mm. And I was seeing an overlay on your face. I don't know what that was. <laughs> another being, another, your ET self or something, I don't know, but I couldn't quite, couldn't make it out. It was your other, other self or something, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Well, I'll, I'll tell you that I'll send you a picture that was drawn of my ET self by a lady called Tracy Taylor. And um, it's not human. And she said that's what she was seeing as an overlay. Oh, my God. I, I, I would love to see it. What does it look like, Bailey? I've not actually. Um, I'll have to. I'll add, add it to the Skype so you can download it. Um, but it's it's. It's almost heart shaped, but it's multicolored, and there's a huge kind of lotusy thing here. Um, but it's definitely not not human. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I was getting. It was not humanoid. It was it was less humanoid. It was definitely not humanoid. That's what I was getting for sure. Well, I'll let you sit with that then, and 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 what have you. What I suggest you do is just give yourself a few 
few days now to start putting putting this together and sitting with it, okay? Because yeah. more information as well. When you listen to this, it will trigger more information. So it yeah. will continue because it's the frequencies are on the recording. So you'll be able to go straight back there. Again, more information. Yeah, cool. I'll do that. I'll do but that. The other thing is now is to ask the healer self to clear that that imprint because that's the healing that needs to happen. So there's a part of you that will know what to do. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes it just will bring in a whole new frequency to heal it and they can uh, release it that way. It's, it's going to be about you accessing that healer part of you to say, what do I need to do now to clear this, to rebalance that energy and, and that injury that's gone through, I don't know how many centuries or time, um, and has stayed with you. Um, Mary Rodwell, uh, the legend that you are, thank you so, so much for, like, I how, how long have you been doing this? I feel like minutes went past. It's uh, just over an hour. Wow. I feel like I've had time loss. Seriously. I feel like mm. I, time, I've had time loss. Like, like we were only there for 15 minutes or something. What a wild trip. Thank you so much. Uh, the lovely Mary Broadwell, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Crazy. Mary, thanks so much for today. And thank you. Thank you for okay. being here. Okay, Alex, take care and we'll talk soon. Okay, ciao.